Okay, uh, sorry, it took a little bit. I had to do some running around through uh, my Facebook, and that, I, there was a bunch of responses and everything that was on there. Uh, well, while you're on there, take and uh, retweet everything like you did the last time. Okay. Uh, so that way everybody knows we're back on and uh, still here. <laughs> we had um, messages from uh, uh, Aki. Speaking Oxy Car, I believe, or Oxy Talk, mm -hmm. or whatever, so I broadcasted, I specifically tweeted at them that it was going on, so, you know, if you're watching, I'd say this is a pretty momentous thing to take place during the week of the past few but maybe Wow, that quiet. was good. We were down to 12 viewers during that time that it was off, and, uh... Just in seconds, we're back up to 18 again. <laughs> so people are definitely paying attention. Just uh, retweet all that stuff back out. On Rev. Huh? Oh yeah, we're on uh, Global Rev. We're on uh, uh, what else? Are uh, um, OWNN. Yeah, that's great. It's it's coming up as the same tiny URL every time that you're. Uh, yeah, that's my main URL. And then uh, once I end, when I end it. I get an option to uh, save it, which gives a direct link to the video I just sent it. So yeah, what okay. you're seeing, what you're oh, seeing is my so startup. Right. So my yeah, okay. just retweet my main one. It'll start showing up on there. I, I think it's like uh, HSP or HPS, uh, something or another. Oh man, I lost all those things. You lost them all. Well, no, I mean, it's not that I lost one. Yeah, they should be in the Twitter feed somewhere. Yeah, that is not on the clipboard. Yeah, you're just going to have to just copy and paste off the Twitter feed. Okay, let's see what's going on out here. As you can see, we are, we have a tent that's even outside here. So, yeah, we're inside and out. <laughs> Good night. What you up to? Huh? What you up to? Oh, having a cigarette. I just got on uh, Facebook. My Facebook is completely blown apart. Um, <laughs> we got a lot of solidarity all over the place. We are in the international private uh, site. Um, we're in uh, uh, the Ustreamer or the the streamers site, we're on the FB admin site, we're we're all over the freaking place and people are just boom 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 like 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 and reposting it's getting all over the place and my Facebook is just completely trashed <laughs> there's actually internet here is there? there is hmm interesting, I don't know about trusting giving them a giving them uh, access to my my shit what's, like that. What's different between that and the park? I mean, well, because this, well, no, it's, it, well, I don't use the park's internet, so. Yeah, I have my own internet, and then I have AT&T, but see, they, they chop apart my AT&T line, and, yeah, I was supposed to pay the bill on my 4G line that I have for it, and so they shut me off today, and I haven't had time to go down there and pay them. That was what I was supposed to do this morning, but all the activities, well. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's cool. Oh, here, let me get a picture. Okay, you ready? There you go. I don't know how this picture is going to turn out, if it's going to turn out with all the Ustream information on there. I'm hoping it does. I think that would be pretty cool if it does. <laughs> we'll find out, though. How many people have still got up and awake watching directly? Uh, 19 right now. And we took about a about a five-minute delay in there because I was going through my Facebook. About five, six minutes, we lost some people, and they're all jumping back on that. Oh, we're at 20 now. Do you, uh, are we still up on Global Rest? Yeah. Oh yeah, we're on all those. Uh, OWNN, Global Rev, 
check out Global Red. They tend to have the most. I'm curious as to what. Yeah, then there was, uh, what was that called, uh, Aku, hmm, let's see if I can, uh, find out what that are, was. I sorry to kind of wake up to go to work. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sorry, I just did that one here, so I'm going back up. Yeah, I'm going to check out Global Res. What do you guys have? Uh, what do you guys have? Uh, we want the arrest of Trish Morikawa and, uh, Wesley Chun. Yeah, they're cabinet members that is, uh, going around stealing and beating on the houses. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to find the other channel. Going through all my messages here. And the bathroom's so close. So have to walk inside. Yeah, they're allowing us to? Yeah, I already went in and used it. It's just, you go into the hall and down to the left, and it's just there on the left hand side. Well, we're on GR, uh, you know, Global Revolution, OWNN, and. That third oh, one. Right Did they finally change? I wouldn't doubt it because we took and canceled this for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then who else? Global Rev Live or Global Rev. We had a lot of good discussions so uh, uh, Nobody that watches live stream gives a shit about your fucking commercials, motherfuckers. You're wasting your advertising dollars. And we were on Honolulu Doug's YouTube and uh, his channel on uh, Doug Note. And Occupy P Town, that's what it is. So O W N N, Occupy P Town, Honolulu Doug, oh, and we're Doug. Providence. Huh? That's Providence, right? Mm -hmm. And then, um, yeah. And Rev. Yeah. I love live streaming networks. Yeah, it's great. Pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> I'm telling you, fucking working dispatch. Yeah, Global Rep Live is down. Is it? Yeah, I love it. Oh, have you seen my PSA yet? By the way. Your what? Yeah. I created a PSA. Public service announcement. What about? A for every one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll put that on. <laughs> yeah, I know. Bad screenshot. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not gonna say what that looks like. Oh, what the fuck? Mike is turning over. Who filmed this for you? Mike. Brody. Yeah. You filmed it on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. So it's up. Um, if Andy ever gets his computer charged, he's gonna create a. Facebook event listing on our Facebook. Um, 
Is it buffering or something? <laughs> this is a public service announcement brought to you by the Occupy Honolulu. Did you know that the city is required to pay your auto bills when it comes to damage from the roads and the poor conditions? Well, they do. You can go ahead and send in your alignment damage, your busted tires, anything that that road and that damage, those potholes has done to your car, make your car sad, you can send into the city and they have to reimburse those costs. You can send that to the Department of Transportation, which is at 650 South King, number 3, Honolulu, Hawaii, uh, 96813. If it's city damage and you would like to call in, you can call Damage Claim at 523-4639. And if it's state uh, claim that you need to contact, that's 831 Six seven zero three. Remember that our mayor, Carlier, promised to repave roads two weeks before that date to start those projects. He decided it wasn't worth the money. They're going to fill in potholes instead. Perhaps because they've spent too much money on the rail system and they've had to cut services like the bus, they had to go ahead and cancel out services on the road. Now these are your roads and my roads. We go to school on these roads. We go to work on these roads. We pick up our kids on these roads. Oh. <laughs> no. oh, That's awesome, dear. though. That's awesome, though. It's cool. And we're buffer, buffer, baby, buffer. <laughs> it always gets you fucked up <laughs> on a blowjob shot. <laughs> We got 22 viewers now. <laughs> They're all watching your public announcement. Okay. Your public service announcement. Okay, we're going to try this here. This is a public well, service here. announcement. Well, here. We'll do it. Brought to you by Deoccupy Honolulu. Did you know that the city is required to pay your auto bill? I don't know why it's like stopping there at the end, but if it goes all the way through. Well, let it buffer. Let me know as soon as you get it buffed, and then I'll take and uh, put that up on there so everybody can see our public service announcement. <laughs> Oh, you know why? Because it's doing it in HD. That's lower that quality. Oh, it's almost there, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> it's freaking great. <laughs> I love our Occupy. <laughs> search for uh, a bump for every rump up on YouTube. You'll find that. Like it, comment, share it, you know. Yeah. All of that good stuff. Uh, we do have one comment already. Uh, 30 views. I do have it posted up in the comment section of uh, Occupy Honolulu's Facebook page. Uh, so you can find it there or you can find it kind of buried a little bit. On mine. Uh, <laughs> Trixie79 says, laughing my ass off. This has to be the best commercial I've ever seen. <laughs> Go ahead and load it up one more time. We'll put the whole thing up in there. Just make sure it's buffered the whole time. Yeah. This is, that, that is fucking great. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, hang on. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Trixie. <laughs> Is it all buffered? Just pause it and let it buffer. Oh, man. Yeah, no, we, we figure that if our mayor is going to be a liar, we're going to label him appropriately. And uh, we're going to make him 
makes the city pay if they're not going to pay user taxes to pay for services to keep our cars from taking a beating, then they should have to pay for the beating, because fuck that. Oh, error has occurred, what the hell. <laughs> um, Um. Oh, internet just went down. <laughs> they shut your internet off. See, yeah. I told you. <laughs> That's hilarious. They totally did. <laughs> Those people, they be sending. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, can it? Well, focus in on it. Yeah, limited. Limit. Or oh my gosh, limited access. Identify linkses. Yeah. <laughs> they shut us down. <laughs> they figured out what we were doing. <laughs> I think they're probably watching. Okay, so our public service announcement, you guys get, got to see it chopped yeah. up, but you at least uh, got to see it. Bump for every rump. Bump for every rump on YouTube under uh, Deoccupy Honolulu's uh, YouTube. <laughs> funny as hell. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to have a Facebook event listing here soon. But yeah, like, you know, we're paying our taxes, you know, so if they're not going to provide the infrastructure that we need, and they're making us pay for car alignments and, you know, busted up tires and shit, like, you know, we live in a state that has the highest minimum wage and, you know, people are working their asses off just to provide their for the families when apartment, you know, apartment costs are sky high. Thanks, military. Um, and it's insane. So, then they expect us to, you know, pay taxes for, you know, infrastructure but not provided and to pay money to fix our cars when they beat the crap out of it. So, fuck that and they should be paying that. Let your tax money pay for your auto bills. <laughs> and your neighbor's out of bills, and everybody else is out of bills, because, you know, they have the system, they designed it, this is what you learn when you go to neighborhood board meetings. <laughs> Fucking government well, shit. Well, iZombies, uh, Andrew up there says the metal t detector is comfy. Yeah. He's thinking of going to stay there. <laughs> he likes the, you know, the, uh, what is it, Andy the likes magnetic... It field that's generated around him. <laughs> Maybe I'll clear out some of his karma. <laughs> yeah, yeah he's, he's definitely having a bad karma deal going on with him lately, but, you know, whatever. Lately, as long as I've known <laughs> like, shit, I, mean, uh, I don't been know where the fuck it started. It, like. it, no, it's, it's been a, um, it, it seems to be much greater here. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know either. I keep telling him he needs to let us stage him. Close him. He won't let us do it. <laughs> Sage cleanser. He needs to smoke the shit. <laughs> Actually, Sage is great to smoke. Mm -hmm. um, there are people here that uh, have introduced me to rolling that in with cigarettes. Um, I, I have not participated in such things, but it's my understanding there's this thing called the trifecta, where it's a little bit of sage. And a little bit of tobacco and a little bit of something else. <laughs> it's pretty nice, from what I hear. I wouldn't know. At all. <laughs> Never. Nah. But I'm actually surprised they're laying the tent today. Last time I set up a tent, they threatened to arrest Andy. They <laughs> may have taken it down. Hey, zombies, you should call. You should, because they say it may make you smarter. <laughs> well, it definitely helps with Daniel up there. Now that he's out, it's like, you need to step back in. <laughs> Daniel, that was doing wonders. <laughs> I don't know what was going on. That's the most I ever heard him speak. And so clearly and, and thoughtful, it was like, wow. <laughs> huh? Not having safety meetings over here. Safety meetings, yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe if the city was not wasting money on the Occupy, we could pay for road repair. <laughs> yeah, think of how much that they could be, uh, how many roads they could have fixed for three quarters of a million dollars. Think of how well, many car repairs they could have paid for for three quarters of a million dollars. Well, how many people they could have gotten off the street? 
Yep. Well, you know, I mean, how many things should, could be, well, you got to think of all the street repairmen that's beating and stealing from the houseless well, when wondering. they should be fixing our roads to begin with, correct? I'm, you know? <laughs> I'm also wondering, you know, because that wasn't Bill 54, which is now ordinance. We got to get it. 11-029. Um, there wasn't a budget for it because they came in after the budget. So they actually had to steal that money from other budgets. I'm curious as to what budgets got slashed. Maybe. Well, the road repairs because they used those officials to steal and beat from the houses. Well, okay, since we don't have the money to repair roads, let's pull our street repairmen to beat and steal from the houseless so we can, you know... Uh, auction their shit off? Yeah, auction their shit off to try and make more money to pay for the rail. <laughs> Government logic. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it grand? Yeah, it's great. Okay, well, I'm going to finish watching my episode of True Blood that I downloaded. And, uh, Andy says it all started with the wolves in Arizona. I don't know. Uh, no, no, he had that horrendous freaking accident oh. out there that he went charging through ditches and across yeah, the road and, and and all this crazy stuff that we call oh, the shit, Coyote the, Indian Hex. Because <laughs> I don't okay, know where well he we gets can live that, dude. Like, <laughs> there are ways. <laughs> I know you don't believe in that religious mumbo jumbo, and yeah. I think most of it's crap anyway. I still say he was hitting the accelerator when he says he was hitting the Dude, brakes, but you maybe, know. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe he's been lying about it this way, <laughs> <laughs> and therefore he has karma issues. Uh, yeah. Like, well, yeah, I know the whole entire family doesn't believe it, so you know it is what it is. He freaked out and ran into all sorts of stuff and terrorized the car and split a car almost in half only <laughs> through the training motor and everything. And it says, yep, the brake was locked up. I don't think the car would move. <laughs> that is cool. Andy. That's Andy. <laughs> you know, he's freaking out up there. What the hell? They talking smack. <laughs> Did you notice, by the way, that I came in with my work shirt? Yep. <laughs> I did that before the left office. It was the shutting down the computer, and I hear, you know, head injury and ambulance, and I'm going, oh, those motherfuckers. <laughs> and, man, I went down, and I got in the bathroom, and I flipped my shirt inside out, and I knew I was coming directly here. <sighs> Time to rage war. Ah. <laughs> eh, okay. It's just the, the things that happen at the Honolulu Police Department. <laughs> Like I said, it, you gotta wonder does the, does uh, Hawaii Five O learn from HPD, and is HPD actually learning from Hawaii Five O because they seem completely different? <laughs> I say I've never watched it. <laughs> they they run in and out of our buildings, filming everything around this island. But then, oh yeah, yeah. And when we were at Bishop Camp, they they had a fake explosion of one of the buildings right next to us. And, and charred the whole building up. And it was, and, you know, it's funny See, because that, that's that's an actual historic building, and they charred the whole freaking building. I, what the hell's up with that? One of my friends um, uh, back at, uh, in Chicago, he's a sideshow freak show awesome guy, uh, Tom Hill, Thomas Hill. Uh, you can find him up on Facebook. But um, he filmed a commercial where he was fire breathing while on top of his car, but it was right in front of the Chicago Board of Trade where they were like shooting like planes into it and explosions. They like were knocking down the buildings down there in the financial district and ash falling everywhere like it was snow. Mm -hmm. Really fucking cathartic. <laughs> Well, I'm hoping that the city worked out a deal with Y50 on that building because I, I would hate Maybe to think. Maybe that's how they're paying for the deoccupy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're 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 blowing up uh, historic buildings or faking their blow up on historic buildings to earn more money. But I hope they actually worked out a deal to restore the building in better condition than what it started with. Hey, yeah. people who are local, we really need bedding because you know what I'm sleeping on right now. My dirty laundry folded up in my wet towel from when I showered this morning. Because I may be an occupier, but I shower. But literally, this is all I got. It's me, concrete, a tent, a towel, and dirty clothes. Nobody has bedding right now. Please. I got pillows, blankets. It's towels. hard to think with these magnetic waves bombarding me from 
Bye, zombie. <laughs> Andy, love you. Right. On that note, donations, Thomas Square, the Alvin right. encampment out. Yep. You have a good night. Night. <laughs>
<laughs> I think a national action of setting up tents inside a inside and out of their PDs would be a very good action if anybody wants to uh, take part with that <laughs> it definitely sent a message though we do realize that most uh, PDs wouldn't allow that for more than 20 seconds like was discussed earlier uh, it's still a big statement right <laughs> Let's get on up there with the occupier that's uh, sitting in the metal detector right now. We did some research on this metal detector and found out that uh, it is not sending radioactive waves out to kill everybody. That this particular one is doing magnetic waves. And as we've seen with one of our occupiers, it actually helped him think better. <laughs> so, buy your own metal detector and become the next Einstein. <laughs> How does this song go? I don't know the song. Look it up on YouTube. Play it. Let's hear what they were listening to. <laughs> we got to pick up some of this. We're not we're not trashy people here. Yeah, this needs to get cleaned up. Are these empty? Why don't you step out for a second? Let's get this cleaned up. Did you want that last piece? Huh? Yes? Okay. Set it down somewhere, I guess. Uh, sorry, guys. We're just cleaning up everything around here. We don't want to send a message, the wrong message at least. Is there actual food in there? Hold on. Okay. So yeah, we got some apple juice and uh, grapes left and some cinnamon twists if anybody's interested and they want to come hang out down here. <clears throat> Put this uh, by him, I guess. Since he's uh, nicely camped out right here. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely camped out here at uh, HPD. Sleeping on the floor and uh, in tents all around and inside and uh, yeah, definitely a big statement. What else we got here? Put your battery somewhere. <coughs> So I just put it with one of those bags. Oh, here's that, uh, is that this uh, sheet? Huh? Yeah. I just copied it off. Oh, no, it's not this one. Nothing's written on this one. Are those our waters or theirs? Uh, the Angelo brought those for the police. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll get them off the table. Yeah. No use in being slobs.
<laughs> yeah, this, yeah, it's definitely been kind of funny. <laughs> and that's a pretty, that's a pretty long list of things that I've done. <laughs> yeah, we gotta love. We're just trying to clean up the place. So we don't want to leave everything trash. Mm-hmm. So what? Mm-hmm. Well, there's no use in it. So that's kind of saying a lot. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we're here. So what? I believe that you have sat in the middle of the yeah. You know, it's kind of hard to use string to do that. What is it? Church. Oh, that's you. Yeah, things are kind of down right now. It's uh, 1.36 a.m. here in uh, Honolulu. So, uh, if you're wondering why everything kind of died down, it's... Well, that's the reason. <laughs> well, you guys are all waking up uh, stateside. We're all... Yeah, it's... Everybody's gone to bed. <laughs> oh Jesus! I, I'm I'm rather curious on how those pictures turned out while you streaming. I wonder if it's going to show all the you stream information and everything all in there with it. <laughs> you know, because the screen capture, right? But is it an underlay screen capture, or is it the whole actual screen? We'll find out real quick. <laughs> but that's cool that I know I, know I can take pictures now. I never tried that before. I was always scared of my Ustream like, shutting off or something because of all the problems that I usually have just trying to keep a line going with HPD. So, yeah, interesting. So is there no cops around at all? They all ran away. <laughs> I know this situation isn't funny, but it's also hilarious at the same time. <laughs> oh, what are we talking about? Who, who put this? Who is it? Uh, I don't know. Somebody who just... This is on uh, Occupy Honolulu's Facebook page. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's an interesting time. I'm just going to comment on it. Let's be honest, this is pretty hilarious. <laughs> and they say we don't do anything in uh, in Hawaii. We're all just laid back, doing whatever, you know, chilling with the brothers on the beach, or doing whatever, right? You know, it's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Daniel here. <laughs> this is <laughs> houseless people just <laughs> storming into HPD to sleep on their steps. I noticed this isn't exactly our target audience <laughs> because the houseless don't exactly run around with computers and live streaming equipment. But if you know a house person, what? Houseless person. Nothing now. <laughs> that this is prime real estate on the island. <laughs> okay. We have facilities inside. We have a... Uh, to use the restroom. Yes, we have facilities. We also have a magnetized device that helps individuals think better. <laughs> <laughs> There's a roof over our head. <laughs> that that we saw a solve part of the houseless problem, right? It let... Let the city uh, use HPD as a houseless uh, shelter. Seems like a good idea since the uh, city officials want to beat on people. 
we might as well uh, use protection of HPD since they care so much about its citizens. Hmm. Interesting idea. Come on. <laughs> price is right. <laughs> the price is right. <laughs> oh, poor Daniel. He's had a long day. <laughs> You know what this totally reminds me of? Like watching Daniel sleep up against HGD oh. is uh, the first night of Occupy Chicago. The first time I ever slept outside, like... Oh, on the street by the, the Federal Reserve? Yeah, it, it the, totally reminds me of the, the night. The Trade Center, actually. Yeah, um, yeah we, we slept outside of uh, the Federal Reserve. I slept against the building of the Federal Reserve on Jackson and South. <laughs> <laughs> and it rained for eight days straight. <laughs> but wow, you have found the police station without any police. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't. Okay, they just have no idea how to deal with the situation. <laughs> That's all there is to it. They know we're justified. <laughs> They know, they know beyond a shadow of a doubt that we're justified. A sergeant witnessed us remove the item. We have the statement of an HPD sergeant who is in good standing. In fact, wasn't he like officer of the year? Yes, he was. <laughs> this <laughs> last year he was. <laughs> 2011, he was officer of the year. No, so it, it really comes down to a choice. Do they arrest Trish and Wes? Or do they say that their officer of the year for last year is a liar? <laughs> like, this is the choice that they've been given. We have the officer of the year for last year admitting on camera. Well, he's one of the officers that's given us the most grief. He's made it a personal vendetta to go against us. Now, wouldn't that be... The, the this man has every reason to lie to us and hate on us because he doesn't like us. Yeah. And yet, this is the testimony. <laughs> so when the people that don't even like us <laughs> say that they know for a fact that the items were removed and that, you know, this was... Illegally. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what is HPD to do? Because now even the people that hate on us are agreeing with us. I mean, it really is kind of a bad situation for them because they have to, they have to make a choice. Do we throw our officer of the year under the bus who has absolutely no reason to try and help us because he legitimately hates us? Or do well, we I don't know if it's legitimately hates us. He just hates on us. He hates everything about us. He's made a personal vendetta to be against us. And he's led the terror on Occupy Honolulu from day one, from the very first day on our biggest raid. <laughs> he, he, he ordered people to come in with bolt cutters and cut all the equipment and bulldoze through and throw everything out. And Yeah, it, uh, he, was, he was the very first officer to walk up on our camp and start trouble. 36, 38, 7, whatever, 30 multiple <laughs> freaking raids ago, <laughs> he's been uh, there at almost every single one besides the, the, the couple of months that he wasn't allowed to be there after uh, I got after him and he uh, did some of the things that he did towards me and uh, that he wasn't allowed to be there for a while. Well, I guess he was a good boy long enough to allow him to come back and then later he is coming back and he unknowingly is asking me, or no, he knows he, he doesn't want to be on camera, but then he had no reason why to be off camera and just openly admits, oh yeah, I saw you guys, I was there, I watched the whole thing, I know exactly what car it is, where it's parked at, and where you got all your stuff hanging out at, and this and that, but they're doing this, this is between uh, DFM and you guys, and not between HPD, well, you know that they're violating the law, and you're admitting to this, but you're allowing them to do this, okay, well now, here we are at HPD, <laughs> like one person said you found a police station with no no police officers, well, they're supposed to be at this post. There's one officer that's in there. He's still there, so they haven't completely ran away. And then uh, somewhere in the other post that's back back there. So they're, they're still manning the front 
and uh, sitting there, but they're just staying and hiding. Cigarette. <laughs> occupation runs okay. on coffee and cigarettes. So. Okay, let's go. Coffee donations are appreciated. But, you know, there's still one officer there, but for the majority of them, they run away. Here, let me take care of this uh, pile. Like I said, I don't want to leave this place trashed. There's no use in that. How's it? <laughs> well, at least they're avoiding our sign. Refuse and resist. That is perfect. Refuse and resist. Arrest. Trish and West. It almost all kind of flows together pretty good. I really like this little dude. Little dude with truth. You know, that's uh, in solidarity of what was going on in uh, Anaheim. And uh, we ended up adding to it because of our current situation. Trish and Wes have got to go. Hella, hella occupy. <laughs> Speaking of that chant, I totally got banned from Carlisle's page for, for saying Carlisle has got to go hella hella occupy. Yeah. Well, yeah. A little shout out to our brothers and sisters in Oakland mm -hmm. for that chant. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. I totally cannot fucking sleep. I'm so fucking wired. <laughs> Work is going to suck. How's it? Hey, Hello. Guys. Arrest West and Trish. <laughs> city officials who are criminals. Cabinet level city officials. Yeah, Cabinet level. <laughs> I wonder how Carlisle feels about hiring criminals. Maybe we need to do some sign waving that says Carlisle 2012 <laughs> hires criminals. <laughs> On multiple fronts. I mean, wasn't it like 12 BSM employees that were arrested for stealing? Well, no, it was, uh, oh, how did that go? Uh, there was four, four people that was on, uh, uh, what do you call that when you're in jail and you get the work, work release? Work release, yeah. Yeah, there was four individuals that was on work release. There was four other, uh, uh, what do you call them? department heads, and then there was four uh, workers. Dude, election is on Saturday. People are voting. Yep. Sign waving. I'm telling you, it's the craziest phenomenon. Well, I would love to join you, but that would that would mean that Wes and Trish have been arrested by Saturday. One way or another, this One will come way. to. This is going to come to a resolution. I am steadfast in my belief that I will not leave this premises <laughs> until Wes and Trish are brought to justice. So perhaps I'll be available for Saturday. <laughs> that would be kind of screwed up, right? If they lose their vote. If they lose their vote because they're sitting in jail. Oh, What a t catastrophe. They won't be able to vote for Carlisle. Um, get out of the boat. I, I can't do it. I'm working. I mean, I'm working. Other people gotta. Oh, we just had an onslaught of people just jump in all of a sudden. Hey guys. Hello. <laughs> um, we are currently at uh, Honolulu Police Department. We uh, had a tent set up inside the police department, and we have occupiers inside the police department that Daniel's is. Daniel's sleeping against the wall. And uh, we have an occupier that is not in a tent that's sleeping inside <laughs> HPD. The uh, sleeping up against the fence <laughs> in Chicago. So uh, we blocked off their entrance with a sign that says "Refuse and Resist," and we have several occupiers going in and out, taking turns to uh, block that entrance within the metal detector. Uh, so, uh, until they decide to, uh, 
follow through with their actual job and arrest uh, two cabinet level members of the city and county of Honolulu. One named Trish Morikawa, she's the head of the housing for uh, the houseless, that says to help the homeless, she needs to put them in crisis. And then uh, uh, we're also asking for uh, Wesley Chum, which is a civil engineer for city and county. He's the head of Department of Facility Maintenance that runs around beating and stealing from the houseless throughout the island. So uh, we're asking for both of them to be arrested immediately. And uh, not asking, we're demanding. Yeah. Okay, that's a better word. We are demanding. <laughs> what is your one demand? Apparently for Deoccupy Honolulu, it's the arrest of Trish and Wes at this time. And when we get that, we'll figure something else out. <laughs> well, no. We want Mayor Carlisle out of office. We want... Carlisle. We want, uh... Uh, what's it? Tulsi Gabbard to, to not. not be able to go to the House of Representatives, uh, the U.S. House of Representatives. Well, I would like to throw feathers on her if we did that. Well, I've I've already told you. It, you know, a bunch of You guys know my dream, so it's cool. <laughs> Solidarity from Connecticut. <laughs> Up right now, it's, it's like yeah. two o'clock in the morning here, so it's like eight. Eight there, yeah. Yeah, so people are waking up, so that would explain the jump on. Hi, everybody. We also have solidarity from OWS in New York City. Woo! <laughs> they have my medics out there for me, will ya? So Sugar says hi, and I miss you all so much. <laughs> Uh, here we go. Hello over, good morning to my favorite civil disobedience. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we're still sitting out here. Should we sing a morning wake-up song? <laughs> Solidarity's forever. Solidarity's forever. Solidarity's forever. The movement makes us strong. <laughs> so how many of you guys actually sang that to your to yourselves? I know you did. Do not. <laughs> so yeah, we're still out here. We uh, still blocking the entrance. Still demanding that Trish Morikawa of the Houseless uh, Department and. Wesley Chun, the civil engineer for the city and county that's the head of uh, Department of Facility Maintenance to uh, be arrested on the spot for theft and, uh, you know, for the, the atrocities that they commit throughout this island. Okay, so I know a lot of you guys are just getting up. Uh, first off, thanks for joining us. Um, tweet it out, Facebook it, social media, y'all know what to do. Uh, pop it up and write it if you can, that'd be awesome. Um, so, in Honolulu, there is, there is this bill called Bill 54. Uh, it passed, which then made it into Ordinance 11 029. And the gist of it is that it allows for the criminalization of houseless. So basically you can't have any personal belongings stored on public property. Uh, if it gets tagged, then you have 24 hours to remove it. Um, in Honolulu, uh, Oahu and everything here, we part of the Constitution is this thing called the Splintered Battle, which by, within state constitution says that anybody can safely sleep along the side of the road. So, that means that people sleep on the side of the road um, and are supposed to be able to be kept safe doing so. Bill 54 is a complete violation of that, especially since what they use it for, besides uh, trying to squash political dissent and doing it poorly and failing, 
the really bad consequences they use against the houseless, uh, which is their opportunity to not let uh, tourists see the houseless population. So uh, they steal belongings, they steal the homes of the houseless, they uh, harass them, they often will beat them, they'll steal medications, um, and sell it apparently as well, that's a corruption issue here. Um, they can arrest you, um, all sorts of stuff. So it's, in essence, the criminalization of being houseless. It's really fucking disgusting and completely against our state constitution. So, we had, we had these things called tagging rates, where they come and tag our stuff, and we have 24 hours to move it. So we have a, a system in place, which I will not discuss, because they're watching us right now, because we know that, because they shut down the internet once they figured out that we were watching our public service announcements, which you can find up on YouTube by uh, searching out a bump for your, for every rump. Um, but they uh, have taken this law and, and really made it disgusting. Um, we have our system, which protects us. Uh, so they do the tagging raids, and we switch out, yada, yada. Uh, we've got a color-coded system with tents, so we're on red tents and blue tents. Uh, we look like a suburb. <laughs> it's really funny. Um, but today, they decided to seize everything illegally. Uh, they claimed that they had some information that we were storing property there uh, when, within our system, we trade stuff out. And... Um, we actually have on film a uh, sergeant talking and confirming about how he actually witnessed uh, people removing their stuff and bringing in new tents and new stuff. Um, so despite knowing that what the what Department of Facility Maintenance, DFM, uh, was doing, who is run by Trish and Wes, um, he opted to have the police department protect them in their illegal activities. So, uh, time and time again we've battled this, um, but we have it on official record and everything that, yeah, there were witnesses by the police department that said that this was bullshit. Uh, so we filed complaints and stuff. Uh, Andy decided to uh, take over the metal detector at the entrance of the police station and during that process was assaulted by a police officer. So now there's been a file report, you know, a report filed and all that stuff against that officer, witness statements, we have video of that, uh, which the individual link is working on getting put up um, by one of our occupiers who had enough to work on that. Uh, so we've been out here for how many fucking hours? Uh, a lot, a long time. Well, you guys have all been sleeping. Hours. All you guys have been sleeping because of the time zone difference. Um, I decided to set up a tent, so I am in a tent. Um, I actually set it set it up inside the police station. We moved it out to the sidewalk. Um, but we have our lovely little sign. This is the rest of the Ten and a half hours. List. That's how long we've been out here. Ten and a half hours. So, yeah, it's been a minute. Um, I can't seem to sleep. I'm kind of wired, and that sucks because I've got 12 hours to work tomorrow. Eleven going in an hour late. 11 hours to work tomorrow, and that sucks. So, um... Yep. Anyway, that's... that's oh, okay. Yeah, that's the gist. Um, so, please share this up on social media. Get it out. Um, call the, the Honolulu Police Department. Call DFM. Um, actually, if you guys can get that looked up on your smartphones and pop that information out on Livestream Nova, that would be great. Um, get up on Twitter and Facebook and all that. But yeah, make some phone calls. Um, tell them to go ahead and, and don't collectively enforce the law. Actually, permit apply blitz, the law HPD. to everybody. Huh? <laughs> it says permit blitz, HPD. Right. <laughs> yeah, if there's any anonymous fans out there, <laughs> I, I know that there are people who participate in anonymous tactics that do things to websites. Don't say. I just am aware. You know, do with that what you will. And he says, uh, it's comfy, LOL. I think I'm going to Sleeping on concrete and dirty, my dirty clothes from yesterday. 
and a wet towel that I showered in. So, yeah, anyway, that's our gist. I'm, uh, again, going to attempt to go to sleep. Probably won't work, but... You have a good night. Night. <laughs>
I mean, you, at first we had a lot of opposition from the police, and after sitting here, they kind of started dwindling off, and then one officer thought he'd make a big stand and bulldoze through one of the occupiers, uh, this gentleman here, bulldoze through him through the uh, the metal detector while wearing his own gun and everything, knowing he's going to set out. But he, he just wanted to make a point that he can walk through here. And uh, well, all that ended up is another sergeant running up and uh, getting uh, criminal investigators on this officer. And... Uh, uh, started all sorts of stuff. We ended up having um, the EMTs here and yeah, a bunch of crazy stuff. And uh, since that point, the, P the rest of the PD is like, okay, um, so if that doesn't work, what do we do now if we're not allowed to uh, just run up and arrest them? So, uh, well, we'll abandon this post to go to that post. Then once they did that, then somebody told them, well, you can't be down there because you're not doing your job down there. Because <laughs> people are walking through without going through the metal detector because it's blocked off by us. So they said, okay, well, now you're going to have to come back down here. So they come back down here and they just hang out in this room. And, uh, yeah, we don't see or hear from them. They just watch us on camera. <laughs> I'll have some plants installed and make this place a little more homey be here for a while. Or you could go arrest Trish and Wes. Make it easy on everybody. Our batteries are depleting. It says refuse <laughs> and resist. That's the whole sign there. I know it's been cut off to saying refuse, but actually it says refuse and resist. So uh, that's our message to people wanting to walk through uh, the the metal detector here and like I said we've had various occupiers sitting inside and uh, getting belted with uh, magnetic pulses and rays and whatever and because we did look it up this one doesn't give off radiation it's just magnetic pulses but this occupier here that's all wore off from the sticking process because it, it, it made this dude like really really smart sitting in there and once he came out he was normal Daniel and uh so we, we're going to make him a tin hat with a bunch of magnets because that dude is like incredibly smart when he has magnetic pulses bombarding his body. <laughs> so, <laughs> something to think about next time you, th you see a similar type of uh, uh, metal detector. <laughs> Of course, they've been watching you for years now. Well, that is true. They've been watching me for years. They've been watching Andy here for, what, about two years, three, two and a half years, because of your little Scientology deal. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you had, yeah it, I wonder if I got a file from the Scientology. I don't know if you did. I don't know if it became that big for that. I don't know. That was like a two weekend thing. Yeah, I don't think it became big enough for that. Yeah. Well, you, did, you did some internet activism. But yeah, eight years I think I think the so Occupy so movement is probably what got your name. Uh, yeah, up there. yeah, the uh, second day of Pop occupation in Chicago, I had to chase off. I bet you my file was bigger than yours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not having a fishing contest over DHS files with you. It's fun. <laughs> as you the wake sad up, part is we'll never know. As you wake up, refuse and resist. As you wake up. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, no, I, I, it's been confirmed to me independently twice now that there is, in fact, a DHS file that was generated in Chicago. I don't know what's in it. One of these days I'll get around to uh, filing a Freedom of Information request to see uh, what exactly is in that file. But as you can see, it's clearly nonviolent. Well, we're keeping a, it that way, definitely. Yeah, I'm not a violent person, but, I mean... DHS isn't exactly a fan of nonviolent. I don't think they're a fan of our. Action. I don't think they're a big fan of our occupation because we're only blocks away. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think you know they try to it's like we're still fucking insurgency. Usually insurgencies are violent. They don't know how to deal with nonviolence except for with violence. Oh, so at Aki Chat uh, just retweeted us. Um, so Aki Chat is like a weekly recap of events. Occupy, so shout out to uh, Aki Chat. 
Send out a, a picture of our tent in uh, HPD on Twitter. Oh, uh, what's my guy to say? Uh, this was six hours ago when I was assaulted. Uh, um, he just said, glad to hear it. Stay safe and keep fighting solidarity from Oshai. So cool. That's Occupy Chicago. Friends of mine. Solidarity, Chicago. Yeah. Gotta always have the mad look for Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. Send out that picture oh, on Twitter. Oh, Natalie. I miss Natalie. But... Oh, they're coming on that lake. That's all I said. Well, it's... See, they're in there. They can't deal with no lights. They had to turn more on. <laughs> network. The delay is a lot less when I'm on my 4G network that I do I have realized. So does that mean when I was singing the wake up song and everybody else was singing along with me that they were actually thirty seconds behind? Yeah. Step up your game. Get thirty seconds ahead people come on in. <laughs> like, even your live streaming is running on Occupy time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, I gotta get down the clear and uh, give them a payment so I can get on my 4G again. Capitalism is <sighs> cool, yo. Yay. Not really. <laughs> what is today? Wednesday? Well, I believe now it's yeah. Wednesday. Oh, hey, I think I get paid today. That's a good thing. Excellent. Can you buy a spinning? No, that means I get to pay some bills. Are you paying big corporate when you could like get your brother and his best friend a blanket and a pillow? <laughs> your discount from Walmart. <laughs> like discount. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo. Ten percent. Gotta love it. Uh, you know, I've been kinda of thinking about these sprinklers here. I've got two nasty looking sprinklers here that we can I wonder when the last time we're at the Hey, if you're not busy, there's two criminals running loose in Honolulu. Can you go get them? Okay. <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> Sorry, but I am busy. Pardon me, but do you have any gray poupon? <laughs> <laughs> I got paperwork to do and such. <laughs> I can't be bothered oh, with petty no. criminals. So it's like in car buyers. Uh, so is it island? Okay. We are on Oahu. <sighs> okay, I think that's all I can tire to get it all, so I want to go to the right. Hey, what's I, 
I just cannot get over this feeling of this is by far one of the worst fucked up things I've ever done. Yesterday talking about hilarious. Yesterday is talking about moving to New York. Today it's taking over the system. I love her. Oh my god, occupiers were so manic depressive. Yeah, we are at the main uh, building for the Honolulu Police Department on the island. Uh, there are actually the the main police department here in Oahu, uh, every police station is Honolulu. Well, let's see. I get two, three hours of sleep. I've been staring into a freaking iPhone. So you you eye yeah, my my eyes are like beat like, to hell. You don't smoke, so it's like. Uh, yeah. Yeah. By the way, that's the stage you're getting to. That's all. Awesome. If you're not busy, there's two criminals running loose in Honolulu. Uh, <laughs> Their names are Wesley Chun and Trish Morikawa. Call the dog, arrest? he'll get them. Could you arrest them? You're talking to me? <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> Help, I'm being repressed. Oh. <laughs> Injustice alert? <laughs> <laughs> Injustice alert. Injustice alert. Help, I'm being repressed. Help, I'm being repressed. Injustice alert. Injustice alert. <laughs> we so need to get this out. Morning, morning, Mr. Robinson. Robinson. <laughs> YouTube, danger, I danger, <laughs> danger. <laughs> Two criminals at large. It's so hard to get two people arrested in this town. <laughs> Especially when they've done illegal shit. I mean, it's not hard to find them, right? Because they have very big offices. They're cabinet level people. It's not hard. <laughs> O-C-C-U-P-Y, we are occupied. <laughs> I'm going to have that in my head. <laughs> O-C-C-U-P-Y, Where's our leader? <laughs> overtime. Bo should be here. We need our leader. Oh, we do need our leader. Our, our, our cute little beagle. <laughs> yeah, I miss Smokey. Yeah, our cat and our people need to be here. Uh, the, <laughs> the leaders of Occupy. Yeah, <laughs> to be indoctrinated. And... <laughs> I lived there when I was a kid. That okay, so... You know, they had no problem Art pulling stars to do a used to live here in Honolulu as a kid. kid. What? Art stars used to live here and uh, occupy Honolulu live standoff with HPD, main Oahu building, Pineapple Glitch. Thank you for the retweet and, uh, oh, yeah, thank you. Solidarity. Uh, what's this? How many viewers are we up to now that the East Coast is waking up? How many what? Viewers are we up to now that the East Coast is waking uh, up? 30? Yeah. Keep on plugging away. Well, that's that's a very misleading number because all you're seeing is like it's the direct, yeah, it's the direct viewers. Right. So right. Yeah. Right exactly. Before they shut off the internet access, I checked out global and global live and global broadcasting something and not a some concert something and global live down. Uh, Doug, I'm sure is still rebroadcasting, so we've got those. Oh, uh, they're like, I think it's wonderful that a peaceful process is being left alone. Yeah, yeah that it's staying peaceful. You know, I think that's what he's getting at. Yeah, Once it again, is the kind of the place that is nice that the locals are hard to live with. Is committed on the part of the police. I don't know, I like the locals here. The locals ain't too hard to live with here. I mean, it's, it's how you interact. Uh, everybody saying good morning. We got a lot of, lot, yeah, a lot of people saying good morning to everybody. Ah, Lalani's back on saying, hmm, 
<laughs> you can't sleep either, huh? <laughs> How's it, Lilani? <laughs> Leave it to Andy to pick a police station, right? Yeah, we're uh, still sitting here at HPD at the entrance here. Hello. Uh, we have tents inside You're and out. And There's two criminals that need to be arrested. We filed a report. The names are Trish Morikawa and Wesley Chun. They're two cabinet members. They're easy to find in their offices. They, they know about <laughs> it on the inside. Please, please help. <laughs> I just threw up yeah. a little bit in my mouth asking an officer to see But anyhow, we're still here blocking their entrance with Hello, the how are you? views and resist sign. Having a good night? There are two I'm dangerous sorry. criminals running around on the island by the names of Trish Morikawa and Wesley Chung. Go get them. <laughs> Go get them, boy. Go get them. They're still, so, they, you know, they dog tell right earlier. That does make a lot of sense, right? They sent the dogs out on the citizens in Anaheim. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Disney police running around shooting people and sending dogs out on them. I don't want to, what's up with that deal, right? It's the lap dog thing. I, shit, I used to go bark at the police standing out in front of, uh, <laughs> Because Robin too many Daniel's places office. are restreaming you to count. <laughs> I hope. Yes, they do call us howlies. Um, that's not how it's actually spelled, but yes, they do call us that, but, uh, you know... I don't okay, see so, so I don't see that as is not offending. necessarily Yeah, it's not offensive. It's just it another can be. Right. Well it's in but how they say it, but it, yeah, I don't I don't take context. offense to it. I'm like I'm like, yeah, it's uh it's not that big of a deal at all. Yeah, if you really are down with like rejecting privilege because when you have privilege there are people that don't and that's the have and have not concept and you wanna reject that shit. It's a great place to do it. Certainly, there is no such uh, thing as white privilege. Stream, it's fantastic. Yeah. No, I'm I'm serious about that. I never liked having privilege yeah. over other people because that just means other people don't, and that stream. sucks. I gotta go find it again. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Mahalo means thank you. Oh, by the way, um, so you understand. Aloha. Yes, is, hello. Uh, hello and goodbye. Or goodbye. But mahalo is thank you. And uh, and thank you very much, Lilani, for that. only 14 letters in the Hawaiian language. Like, there are streets that are, are spelled H-A-A-A. -A -A. But, uh... Ha-ha! Uh, Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> ah, street. It's awesome. It's, it's a very interesting learning experience to learn Hawaiian. You would think with only 14 letters it would be kind of easy. I'm struggling. Um, Lalani says uh, that we are doing great, and um, we have, I don't know, I just not least, what did you, okay, I don't know what he's saying, wish I had Susan, Maui hello, Maui good Maui morning, Maui. how are you, she wouldn't want to miss this, <laughs> a lot of people seem to not want to be missing this right now, so yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's really funny because it doesn't feel like Say what? <laughs> it's really funny because it doesn't feel that exciting, but... Well, you know, I mean, th it, it, it's, it's this is an interesting concept. I think yeah. I think this is a healthy concept, you know, for people to oh, yeah. occupy the police departments and not, not as a, opposing them, but to say, hey, we want justice. And in something that's not jail support. Right. Because I don't think I've ever, like, really been at a police station unless I've been arrested or participating in jail support. Like, I, it's, I don't know. I um, it is actually uh, 2.24 a.m. here. Um, I see that there's a conversation going on uh, uh, about uh, what time it is. It's 2.24 a.m. We understand that uh, it's 8-something or whatever on the East Coast. And, uh, Six hours ahead. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's, Five and people and are definitely waking up now. We have two time zones that should be waking up by now. And, uh... Good, right on. You guys are badass. Way to occupy. Thank you. Aloha Revolution. Yay. That'd be a hello on you there. Oh, that's Yeah, we're about to hit the 12 hour mark. About an hour, yeah. Yeah, we have one more hour and we'll hit 12 hours. So, one more hour to go. 
But I don't believe that we should be leaving for that. I think we need to stay until two people are actually arrested. Well, yeah, and, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I have achievement to achieve a 12-hour occupation inside of a police department. <laughs> so, yeah, now I plan on going to work and working my long, 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 long If it doesn't trouble day, you too much, then, uh, those two dangerous criminals here. wandering around the island, can you go arrest them? Their names are Trish Morikawa and Wesley Chan. North Shore is great. Uh, Art Stars oh, is talking about North Shore. North Shore is great. Stunning. Yeah. I really like the Woodward side too. In general. Kind of like Kaneohe. Kaneohe is nice. Yeah. Yeah. That whole little thing there. I like that. We're getting door to doors over there in the Yes. A peaceful protest, not being beaten. That's and you know, and that and that's where you got to contribute. That's where you got to say, you know, what's what's making this difference. You know, I mean, yes, we have we have a reasonable re, you know, we have reason to be here. That it's justified even by the police force of why we're here. Um, but mainly, it's the culture. I, I, I mean, people deal with things differently here. We don't have to be so violent. You know, we try to work with each other. We got to live with each other on an island. You can't run to another state. Like uh, that happens well, in the U.S. Do it all the time. You know, it's all it's amazing how many people. Yeah, this that. person has his uh, North Shore on his bucket list. <laughs> Dude, yeah. It's 8:25 yeah. a.m. in Florida, so that's where our stars obviously is. Uh, yeah. Solidarity there, Florida. <laughs> uh, okay. There's nobody in there, sir. And as we've uh, made it clear many times before, hey. you guys are holding you guys are in charge. Yeah, yeah. Chris, right? Well, yes. Okay. What's the protest for? Uh, because we are. Well, you should already know. I mean, it's all well, I'm, over. That's why I'm here. Okay, well, uh, HPD witness and is actually given testimony towards that uh, uh, Trish Morikawa and Wesley Chung committed a crime against us of theft earlier today. Trish Morikawa is a cabinet level member that's a head of the house, housing department. Trish Morikawa is it? Yes. And who's out of West? Huh? Yeah, what? Yeah, Wesley Chung. He's the head of uh, Department of Facility Maintenance, also a cabinet level member. Are they, what did they do? Uh, they committed theft against us. Uh, Sergeant Santos witnessed us removing all the items that was previously tagged under the Bill 54. Okay. And uh, with that knowledge, he allowed DFM and uh, the Housing Department to remove the items that was sitting there on the sidewalk. Okay knowing that it was an illegal action being taken and we're asking that those two individuals be arrested for theft. Oh, okay. And that's, well, that's why we're here. here. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, we've been here for coming up on Yeah, time. we're almost at 12 hours now. And you know, we're keeping things clean. We're not trashing anything and we're not uh causing disturbance. You know, most of the officers have been uh obliging us with uh working with us as we work with them, but okay. You know, we we've filed the reports and they say they're oh, going through the process. Just over here. I was just as yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it's cool. Yeah, yeah. It's cool. Okay. All right. Well, thank, thank you very much. You yeah. You have a good one, man. Officer, you. Sugar. 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 Okay. All right. I'll just All right. Make you sure okay. okay over Not here. a problem. Okay. I appreciate it. Right yeah. But yep. if you've got free time, you've got two people. Yeah, we got two right. people. We're asking to be arrested. We have reports on them. We have. Uh, I witnessed accounts from your department that, yeah, they did break the law, so we're just waiting for them to be arrested. Yeah, I mean, I was just wondering why. I saw it at 10, and I didn't know you guys were over there. Yeah, yeah, okay. it's cool. No no worries. All right. Okay. You guys have a good one. Okay. Uh. See, that's how our police department works here. You know, it's... Uh, Let's not be on the offensive right away. At least take the chance to find out what's actually going on. And like we see in most of the states, they act in violence on something that they don't understand. Here, you know, they try to work with each other. 
You know, we got to live with each other. There's no nowhere else to go. So they'll create enemies without even having knowledge of what's really going on. It's a good thing. I like it. Hmm? He just wanted to know why the tent was here and what was going on and what we were doing here. He asked, and he's cool. <laughs> it's oh, yeah. like what a wonderful sight to wake up to when to sleep with you guys on my laptop. <laughs> oh, I have so done that with so many occupiers. So to retrieve West West Chun's position is and more Kelvin's position, Mahalo's for deoccupy de deoccupying the corruption of rusting. Have we gotten that info up on the line anywhere yet? Yes. Thank you very much for your solidarity in that and understanding. Okay, uh, so so based on, on your time zone, you know, probably 8 a.m. locally, which is another, what, like five and a half hours, um, is a good time to start uh, calling them and jamming up their phone lines um, and letting them know that the whole world is paying attention because uh, here locally, uh, media is bought by bad, bad people. Like, fuck, I thought the raw machine in Chicago was bad and had a lockdown. So there are groups out here that, that could teach Rom a manual a lesson or two. Um, so mainstream media doesn't really cover stuff here. Though we did ironically have a reporter out here without even having a press Yeah, but the yet. star advertiser showed up. Yep, yep, which was shocking. But uh, nonetheless, um, I think it would be highly effective if uh, the world could respond in saying that, you know, this is bullshit and to, you know, ha let justice prevail. Um, and so call up Tradition West and also the Honolulu Police Station um, and demand for the rest of these individuals uh, who are fucking thieves, They're just thieves. And well, worse than that, they do it to people who are houseless. Because this isn't just about us. This is, I, I know that this could appear as if it's just some protesters whining because we had our shit taken, but it's not. Um, during the raid today, I guess yesterday, um, they actually had to fight to get a houseless guy his medicine back, his life needing medication, because uh, they were seizing it. Um, and so that's a problem uh, that could have killed him if he did not have his medication. And uh, so we, in essence, were being helpful in preventing a murder by Wes and Trish. Um, but this is something that they use all over the island. It's a way to um, really demoralize and take away any kind of the little bit of resources that the housing population has. Um, because God forbid tourists see it. We have tourists that drive by our camp every day, um, all day long. Um, sometimes they'll mention that we're the Occupy camp and it's a neutral kind of comment. Uh, sometimes I wake up with, this is the Occupy movement. They often get free rides to the police station. <laughs> um, yeah. The, 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 the Chinese ones are the best because I think there's a little bit of a cultural Captain. misunderstanding about some of our chants because I've heard them repeatedly on the PA system go, their chants are, get a job, get a job. <laughs> well, we got, uh, we got, uh, I, I don't even know how to pronounce that one, but New York is watching. It's 8.30 there, and, uh, we also have, uh, the Midwest watching. <laughs> uh, with New Day Today, and, uh, Michael Brody and, uh, Lilani, uh, made a point to say that what Trish Morikawa is doing by being the head of the housing, by destroying housing, is actually kind of 1984 style. <laughs> so. <laughs> Old school. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, 
Interesting. There's a lot of conversation going on here. I like the interaction that everybody's having with each other on here. We are at uh, oh my God, five minutes past the... Why the hell are you watching live stream? Why because the, the chat's live? fucking hilarious. <laughs> if I could just watch the... If there was Nerds! App, if there was an app for Nerd just alert. the chat, I would be just in the chat. But there isn't. Well, then you do. Uh, someone needs to bring the TV. This could take a while. I want to watch the Olympics. <laughs> well, you know, we did have internet until, they, until we were rebroadcasting my public service announcement for our mayor, Carla. Uh, and how you can send in your auto repair bills uh, to the Department of Transportation and they refuse to actually do anything good for the roads out here and so it causes a lot of car damage. Oh shit! And so Solidarity from Canada! Yeah! Really? International! Well, we're already international. Where did you get that from? Oh, there we go. No? Um, so, well, you're, you're yeah, they ended up down. shutting down. Uh, Oh, never mind. I checked out. Okay, yeah. So they ended up shutting down uh, the internet once they realized because somebody is watching our live stream. Hi. Thanks Solidarity for the from OW. I gotta relocate, uh, guys. Yeah, you're. Scared. I gotta relocate. So anyhow. So who at OWS is it? Anybody? They're attacking us again. That's what's going on. HPD eight zero eight five two nine three one one one. HPD again, 808-529-3111. Yeah, you can call the HPD. Yeah, call HPD and let them know that uh, they need... That we're Arrest the criminals, yes. Wesley Chun and Trish Morikawa, for theft. Breaking in Aloha, Sol solidarity from Canada. <laughs> so, so who's out in OWS watching? Where is the media, folks? Well, the media, all we've had is the star advertiser out here so far. And I'm unable to contact all yeah, the people. Like a handful of yeah, I can't contact uh, the media people that I know because I'm you streaming right now. Why don't you start looking them up and just calling, Andy? That'd be more helpful. Just start calling them. Calling who? The media? Yes. Stop watching my you stream. You're living it. <laughs> <laughs> but the chat is too fucking... Well, the chat is, is still going to be there. So was Obama born here or not? Here's the okay. question. Okay, what I want to say about this one is it doesn't matter if he was born here or not. Because they say he was born in another country, so he's not a citizen. I'm going to answer this. This is an illegal state. If he was born here, let him be born here. But that means he is not an actual uh, U.S. citizen. He's a de facto citizen, okay, and so that, that so that does not make him a president here. We are illegally occupied. They were taken over by corporate greed and made into slaves here, and it's just been oh, by one. By the way, that's dull. So yeah. Food, pineapple. Well, there's a couple different Canada. companies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was. That was like when they had the whole plantation going on where they shipped in slave labor uh, from all over uh, Asia, and, uh, Philippines. Yeah. So because this is an illegally occupied state and because of what's going on, he became president. They needed to announce someone as a president so they can have even more of a reason to believe that this is a state. This state is illegally occupied. There is no documents. There is no treaties. There is no... Uh, there wasn't even a lawful way of voting for the people to be able to say they had two decisions, not three or four. They had two decisions. Do you want to be a territory or do you want to be a state? There was no, uh, do you want to tell us to F off or you do, do you want us just to hang out? There was no other decisions for them. There was no other wording. It, so it was totally yeah, illegal. The United Nations, yeah, the United Nations has tried to call them in for war crimes on Hawaii twice now. And our presidents all continuously deny them that because of the head of the United Nations and believe that they don't have to answer to their own uh, form or uh, peaceful, what, what, do you, what would you describe the United Nations as a means of peacefulness between all the uh, countries? Sure, but we'll go with that. Yeah, we'll go with that, but it, even yeah, though the United States just does nothing but run around and cause wars all over the freaking world anyway, so, but uh, yeah, he, he is... Marking off the entrance in protest of HPD not arresting Trish Morikawa and Wesley Chun. They're criminals and thieves, and they stole from camp. We have video of officers admitting 
that they saw us or moved the items and still let Vietnam uh, come in and steal from us. So I thought maybe you would be interested. Okay, We're actually coming up on the 12 hour mark. We've, uh, I've been blocking a metal detector. Okay, he's and calling. He's calling uh, media now. Uh, if you're wanting, to, I'm going to step away so we can call them. If you're wanting to call HPD, uh, what you're basically asking them is to have the uh, the immediate arrest of Trish Morikawa, the head of the housing department here in uh, Honolulu, and Wesley Chun, C H U N. Wesley Chun. He's the head of the Department of Facility Maintenance, uh, DFM. Again, that's uh, Department of Facility Maintenance. We're asking for the arrest for uh, crimes against us of theft. Okay, you have KHON. And um, but anyhow, again, you want, we're asking for Trish Morikawa, the head of housing, and uh, Wesley Chun, the head of Department of Facility Maintenance. The head of housing wouldn't need housing. Well, the head of housing doesn't need housing. The head of housing is destroying housing. <laughs> she, does, she doesn't allow for housing. She, Trish Morikawa is publicly oh, stated... Oh, so, so housing is kind of like, you know, <coughs> the equivalency of... Oh God, I just had it in my head. I'm sorry, but I'm so tired. I was going to say something witty, I feel. Okay, um, we have uh, call media, turn on the spotlight. Are you folks for, supported by legal for this DA at HPD? No. no, we don't have any legal aid here. Uh, our funds are rather small. We've been uh, funding this out of our own pockets yeah, and uh, trying to keep things going. But uh, people of the NLG don't actually have a chapter in Hawaii anymore. And we have one single ACLU lawyer who is absolutely swamped. Yep. Um, we've put out calls and calls and calls. They have legal aid here, uh, and they're overwhelmed to the point that we can't even get a phone call returned. Um, so we really are on our own. We're, we defend ourselves in court, um, sometimes take on a public defender. Um, I've got a case right now where they were ticketing me for being in the park after hours when I was in my tent <laughs> and on the sidewalk I was bent over messing around with stuff in my tent uh, when they pulled up. Um, Hi, I just to let you <laughs> know Someone knows who I am. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who this person is. Uh, trans Wami? I don't know, but they know who I am. They said Mr. Smith. <laughs> but anyhow. I want to do a special shout out to the people in OWS. Um, I miss you guys. I was able to be there for New Year's, which was phenomenal. Um, Liberty Mountain. Woo! Um, but, you know, we had a lot of medics uh, come out to Chicago uh, for the NATO protests, and I was a medic out there. And the medics are just uh, awesome. No, they're actually letting love, us them. Say, um, love them, love them, love them. Um, and so I wanted to draw out some love to those people. And in general, to NLG everywhere, get your asses out here, what the fuck? Uh, other than that, we need you really bad. Well, Lalani um, just said uh, thank you for explaining the illegal uh, occupation of Hawaii. Hawaii. I know that was an unjust uh, way in a very quick a very and very, very abbreviated version of what actually is happening here. But uh, thank you for recognizing that I, for this use stream, that we had to at least mention something. But um, yeah, I mean, do some homework and uh, look it up on Hawaii. There's a lot of information out there that will show you exactly what went on out here and uh, why we had the process that we have and why we're in solidarity with uh, the sovereignty movement that's active here on the island. Which is why we are actually called De-Occupy Honolulu. Yeah, yeah, it's De-Occupy Honolulu, not what? Occupy Honolulu. Oh, I just called KHON. They have my contact information. I think they're going to call back. Okay. Uh, I call KITV, Star Advertisers. Hawaii Star. News Now. Hawaii News Now. Yeah, I have all the numbers on my phone, but it's kind of hard to access yeah. while I'm on this. Yeah. Yeah, my computer's dead. This is why Occupies run on smartphones. Yes, it's a capitalist bullshit phone, but damn, is it useful. Tools. 
Yeah, and historically, the oppressed have used the to overthrow the oppressor. I just had a text come in from uh, someone we all know, but uh, uh, she says that we need to uh, play I Can't Get No Satisfaction and start singing along with it. I can't get no. Let me, let me find Hawaii needs now, and then I will definitely act with okay. that request. Thank you for the request. <laughs> You throw out a demand and people listen and accommodate. It's an amazing concept. I don't know. I demand Wes and Trish be arrested. I would demand a whole lot of other things. Actually, but now I got that stuck in my head. Good. It's better than the OPY. Called the phone. Is unattended left a message asking for the arrest of two people. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> that one of the people that's been with us the whole time, uh, he is. Uh, he called the number for HPD and it's left unattended, and uh, but he asked for the arrest of those two people. <laughs> yes, flood their phones. Ask for the arrest of Trish Morikawa Hello, and Jonathan. Wesley Chung. My name is Andrew Smith. I'm with the Occupy Honolulu. We have been blockading the entrance well, to the metal detector for about 12 hours now. And oh, are you? Okay. Oh, right on. <coughs> cool deal. Okay, well... So it's like the Louisiana Purchase. Okay. Uh, Great deal. No, nah, they didn't purchase nothing. Yeah. They, they, there was no purchasing. They just came in and said, screw you guys. Came in with a band of men. They came in with their ships. They came within their with their ships and had a standoff. And uh, Yeah, you have to look it up. It, it, there's definitely a big difference in what happened between the Louisiana Purchase and here. This was just a complete takeover. It was... Uh, done with hostility and uh, uh, throughout the occupation uh, they, they've committed uh, a lot of hostility and uh, oppression and uh, genocide on the people here on this island because they don't uh, feel that they should have to appease anyone that they can just run around the, run around the world and just take over whatever they want and show their big guns. Interesting colonized culture. Hmm? Yeah, the situation in Hawaii and how it's going to take power. Yeah, it's a definite mess out here. It's quite embarrassing for the United States. I don't know why they don't just uh, take care of their issues. We should be evolving as a society, not just degrading ourselves. that people are trying to uh, uh, actually learn about Hawaii. I mean, we have a few individuals in here that's real curious about the things that's happened here in Hawaii. Uh, Ping Ting is uh, definitely uh, asking questions and giving some input of what he's understanding from the little bit that I've talked about. And we have uh, Good morning. Art Stars that says he's going to look it up. Uh, so, we're coming uh, up on 12 hours. I'm glad to glad to hear that people are actually interested yeah, in uh, wanting to learn some more. Hey, how you doing, man? Haven't seen you in a while. Oh, I'm doing all right. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're still there. We're running uh, 278 days now. So uh, yeah, we're the longest running encampment in the world right now. <laughs> or occupy encampment in the world, yeah. 
hours? Yeah. Well, we're just setting up on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they've come out uh, several times and talked with us. We had uh, uh, one thing that HPD is taking care of because they committed a assault on one of the occupiers here, and that was taken care of uh, immediately, or is being taken care of at least. But, uh, yeah, they, they've come out. We've filed uh, numerous reports and that, so uh, they're hearing it, but so far we haven't seen them do anything, and we want the arrest to actually happen. When they have prior knowledge of knowing themselves witnessing that this happened, they need to uh, do this. So you guys have been kind of on the side of No, we've been right here. No, we've been here the whole time. We had we had tents set up in here. Oh, okay. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> down there and try to get some sleep because I've got to work this morning. Hasn't worked out too well. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. What do we got here? We have uh, a little detector goes off and nobody comes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They already know what we're about and why we're here. They're just like, whatever. So I'm restarting my phone. She wants to, okay, here we go, we have Arrest, Tris, and Wesley, and then you have the symbol of solidarity that we came up with for uh, Anaheim, with the man and uh, the word truth underneath. Okay, I have three G again. Okay. Okay. So, Uh, we are on uh, Baratania. We're at HPD uh, headquarters on Baratania, South Baratania just Street. Of Ward and yeah, just uh, east of Ward. How many people is? 
Oh, he's just getting more. He's just getting more pictures of us. Yeah, I know. The interviewer isn't here. This is just the camera guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, we had that one request from uh, Diana for Peter Tosh. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it was a Peter Tosh song. It was actually really good. It actually talked about Wall Street and a whole bit in it. Peter Tosh, man. That's, that's freaking... I guess, but you got to get it on Spotify so I can find out, find the song. Yeah, well, it's definitely on Spotify. So if you tune into... Uh, uh, Peter Tosh, look up Peter Tosh, and I'll be able to find it by his album. Yes, no. And get no. <laughs> he don't smoke the same cigarettes as me, Pocololo. <laughs> <laughs> he don't smoke the same cigarettes as me, Pocololo. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lonnie's like, this is classic. <laughs> awfully nonchalant while two criminals are wandering around the island. All we want is some satisfaction. Because I can't get no satisfaction. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. What's up? This is Trish Mori Kawa and Wes. Wesley Chun. And they work for the housing authority? Uh, uh, Trish Mori Kawa is the head of the housing department for the houseless. I just got a doctor. Like this. That's fine. Housing yeah, for the housing department for the houseless. Yeah, is a uh, civil engineer for the city and county. He's the head of Department of Facility Maintenance. Everything else going okay? Yeah, everything's going nice and smooth, you know, staying quiet and How you been doing now? pretty good actually. Yeah, doing real good. Yourself? I've been fine. Yeah? I just haven't seen you for a while. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't know. met you the last time I encountered you was in front of the station. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, we've been here, what, like three or four times now. But, you know, I mean, usually we keep it on the sidewalk. But this time, you know, it's just, it has nothing to do with trying to retrieve or gain back, you know, because there was an arrest or something. This has to deal with, you know, here, the, you know, we're looking for something to actually happen because they, the... Yes, uh, oh, well, not today. Now It happened yesterday at uh, 1... 1 p.m. Because oh. it, it's already the next day, so. Oh, that's their, their regular sweep or their regular thing that they go and uh, 
the right when they go out and try and clear out but the means of how they've been doing it is repeatedly been illegal and this time we made sure that there's just no way out of it the police saw us do what we needed to do so we were staying legal all right man you have a good one so you know and yeah uh Sergeant Santos himself was on camera. He flat out said, he's like, yeah, i seen you. I know where the car is. I know where all your stuff is at. But this problem isn't between you and us. It's between you and Department of Facility Maintenance. Well, we say, well, hey, you're allowing the illegal activity to happen. So you need to stand up for it. I mean, if you know, know yourself that it's illegal, then it needs to be taken care of. And instead, they allowed them to destroy materials and haul off materials. So we're saying, okay, fine. You, you had to do your job, but now it's time to continue that job and go after people that criminally stole stuff. So. Oh, that'd be Hawaii News now. Yep. Yes, they were. Yep. Oh, yeah. Alright, you have a good one. Okay, good night. Have a good night. <laughs> Got any bedding in there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have very hard enough to myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, how long do you guys have to stay here? Uh, until they're arrested. There's been several times of us making complaints about about this very situation, and it's been kind of shoved under the table, and nothing's happened. So this time, to see what's going on this time. Yep. Yeah. Like I said, it's not personal against the PD. We just want to make sure things are done. You know. All right. You have a good night, Nicholas. Yeah, man. You Take too. Yeah. You do the same. Uh, as for print media, the only thing we've had is the Star Advertiser. Um, they've come out. Uh, I, I'm looking at the chat now, so you guys are wondering what I'm answering to. But yeah, uh, we've had the Star Advertiser come out, and then uh, I don't know, the HBK cage begins with media. It seems. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. HPD doesn't want to make this uh, big news. They want to keep it as quiet as possible because they're. <laughs> Andy's waving at everybody, but uh, you know we're they're backed into a corner. They had like a, Andrew was talking about earlier. It's it's either do they deface their uh, police officer of the year, or do they arrest cabinet members, or do they do both? I don't know. It's up to them. They need to handle it, and we're asking them to or demanding them to do something about this. This needs to stop. You know the. The corporate council and the city council that allowed street repairmen to have more authority than the police department here on this island uh, makes no sense in itself. And this is the problem that they come up with. Untrained personnel that's supposed to fill in potholes are out there stealing and beating on people and committing atrocities all throughout the island. They took everything today. Tents. It's exactly right, Lil. They took like everything. And uh, blah blah. We did not stay long. Perhaps they did not like our redemption <laughs> satisfaction. Now nah, that that the reporter himself wasn't here. That was just the news person getting a shot for whatever, so they could talk about whatever. They do that a lot. They just edit in their own. Uh, say and how they think things are going on or what's going on without having a reporter but uh if it becomes bigger news they'll definitely have a reporter out here
Yeah, exactly. 12 hours to respond to a criminal complaint with swiftness. That's exactly right. Yep. Yeah, we're coming up on 12 hours real quick here. 25 more minutes. Oh, man. This has definitely been a long stay here at HPD. <laughs> I'm not going to get up here by my brother. So I'm not sitting there all alone in a, a magnetic field of torture. <laughs> Watching the stream again? The social stream is fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're maintaining uh, 30 people on here. Mm -hmm. And who knows how. I said we're maintaining 30 people on here, and who knows how many people is actually uh, yeah. retweeting and streaming and well, posting. And re oh, yeah. Well, let's not forget, Lilani, that she was quoted in saying that the way she does this, those jobs that you're talking about uh, uh, relating to affordable housing, senior housing, special need housing, and homelessness uh, for, the benefit, for the benefit of the people of the city, um, she does this by doing what? Putting them in crisis. Exactly. Putting them in crisis, where we bring in the Spanish Inquisition now. So not only is uh, Hawaii under an illegal occupation, we had the Spanish Inquisition theory happening on the houseless. You want class, uh, what did they call it? Uh, uh, class war? <laughs> class warfare. Yeah, class warfare. We have it at extremes here. class warfare when they rise up and fight back. Right. <laughs> Yes, we are. It is 3.08 in the morning, so in about what, 12 minutes? I do need to say that we need uh, 22 minutes. Uh, rechargeable, uh, we need batteries, we need uh, something to recharge this equipment. We need other people here because, yeah, I'm like tired, dude. <laughs> it's freaking 3 in the morning, I should be sleeping right now. <laughs> Okay for a little while. Um, yeah, the generator, the charge battery pack, be good. Get down here. Yeah, well you got your battery pack. How much power you got on it? I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm on one bar left on mine, so I mean I probably got another charge left on this thing when it tries to die down again. Mm -hmm. I'm still at 70 percent, so um, it gives me some time. Yeah, definitely. We're the Lone Team Rangers right now. Yeah. <laughs> Sugar sleeping. And uh, da Daniel's sleeping still over there. He had a long day of thinking. <laughs> the magnetic, magnetic pulses really uh, got him thinking. <laughs> I was really impressed with what he had to say. <laughs> Because it was literally thought up in maybe a five minute span. But, <laughs> you know what? I think I'm just going to go sit in the metal detector. And here we are, 12 hours later, still sitting in the damn metal detector. <laughs> well, it's too late to rethink your theory. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps I should have thought of something a little more effective, but I mean. Cool, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, whatever. 
<laughs> Our uh, Do not recommend that Andrew subject himself so close to EM metal devices. How do the people of Hawaii, as far as you know, feel about? Okay, well, as for Andrew, Andrew sitting here uh, subjecting himself to this, I don't know. I, I've, he's been my brother, right? So I kind of have to say, I'm not sure if it's actually going to create any more interference or deprive him of anything. I think it's, it's just going to keep him mellow there, you know? Like, that magnetic pull it might resituate some. It's just a little bit harder. The, the effects that we saw on this gentleman over here was quite extraordinary. extraordinary. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to see if uh, sitting in this changes his karma and we no longer have uh, the coyote, the, yeah, the coyote uh, what, what do we call it? The, the coyote Indian voodoo hex or whatever, something like that voodoo hex thing that's been on him for years now and maybe this will rectify him and he can have an easier going life. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, I'm being repressed. As for people feel about uh, Obama, wow. I'm disgusted oh. with Obama. Yeah, Obama, you know, that's a touch and go. Obama who? Never heard of him. <laughs> uh. That that kind of answers that. There, there's uh, one person giving you an answer there, like Obama who. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. It's mixed feelings here. Allowing people to walk through without even checking them. Yeah. Like this can't be safe. This thing is pretty touchy though. It keeps picking up when people walk by. Not only does it pick you up, it's saying go stop ghost. <laughs> go stop. The metal detector is playing red light green light. Uh, Art Stars is looking up uh, Hawaii right now, and he's uh, he says good stuff. So, you know, it's good. We're bringing some education to people about what's going on in Hawaii. Next time we occupy a metal detector, we can have a requested chair. That <laughs> we can't have a metal chair. Yeah. You yeah. need a plastic chair. <laughs> we have. Oh no. They took them today. I, I was going to say we have plastic chairs, but that's right. I'm here because they took everything. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps the metal no. detector is playing tricks. No, we haven't been here too long. We forgot the reason why we're here. They're <laughs> 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 just scared to sit around at HPD. Hey, y'all, what's up? <laughs> Where's my 40? <laughs> oh man, I could totally use a beer. <laughs> Just crack a beer in front of HVD. What now? <laughs> Is it really public intoxication when you're on private property, though? I know in in Las Vegas, as long as you were on the sidewalks of its owned by the casinos, you could drink all night long. Just don't cross the street. <laughs> so being here, hmm, how much do we want to push our luck? <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> We're going to make this place a little more homely. You know, we'll get some plants, a TV, get a couch. Well, we're keeping it clean. Picked up uh, the stuff from when everybody ate, you know, so, you know, trying to still show some kind of respect. Even though they're so nothing but well, they haven't really shown disrespect. They're just, I don't know. It's kind of odd. <laughs> so the moral of the story is if you're a cabinet level director, HPD will allow you to sit in a metal detector for 12 hours <laughs> so the best thing why they haven't been arrested. <laughs> I'm not sure what kind of message this is. <laughs> well, no, um, I would like to see on uh, Adult Swim. I, w I want to see us on Adult Swim. we got to do something really crazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
just going to chill here for the rest of the day watching Aqua Team Hunger Force. <laughs> well, Lonnie says that I need to stop insulting you. <laughs> LOL. Andy, you ought to zap him. <laughs> Maybe when I'm done with this, I'll be like Magneto. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> Well, Lonnie, you gotta understand we're brothers, right? I know everything about this guy, like he knows me, so <laughs> he has a terrible driving record. That's just all there is to him. I do not have a terrible driving record. <laughs> One day of accident. Tell us more about the Federal Reserve, Noah, please. That will last us into the morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. Oh, no, I'm not gonna do that to you guys. I could though. <laughs> it's an interesting thought, right? <laughs> just trust me on this one. Just uh, you know. Fed. Yeah, it, just just audit the Fed. Call your senators and just say audit the Fed because Nova says so. <laughs> you don't need no any other reason. It's cool. <laughs> trust me on this one. HR 459 was passed with three quarters of the vote. We need our Senate with three quarters of the vote so we don't have to worry about Obama vetoing it. And then I'll be nice and happy for a while. And you guys won't have to hear me talk about it. So, call your senator, uh, uh, your uh, state senators, and uh, yeah, let's get the job done. They're playing Adele again. I set fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think they're on an hour loop. So I keep hearing the same songs over and over again. 99 bottles of beer on the wall, 99 bottles of beer. I'm running out of Mountain. I need Mountain Dew, that's what I need. That's what my problem is. This 23 flavors of Dr. Pepper is not helping me at all. Do you still have Dew? Yeah. Didn't we have an extra bottle somewhere? Or are you drinking that one? What? No, that other little bottle? Yeah. The one that was full. Oh. Okay, so you're drinking the second one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. No, I was cool, man. It's whatever. 98 bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. 97 bottles of beer on the wall. Hey, you guys do die in while you are there. Do a die in. Do a die in? Yeah. Just lay around like you're dead? Yeah. Daniel's committing it flawlessly. Yeah, Daniel's doing that for us, okay? He, he's right there. He's he's all camped out in the bed. Look at he he's even got his hands crossed. We need a we need a uh, black rose for him and he he's sad. <laughs> if I lay down I'll fall asleep. Taking out their uh, metal detector here, so I definitely can't go in there. I got all sorts of stuff in there that'll make you just go, man. I don't even know where it is. Somewhere down there, I think. I don't know. That's where everybody else is going, right? Oh, what is this? I think that's what the folks in the hall are doing, right? <laughs> Exactly, that's exactly what they're doing. <laughs> How secure would you say this facility is? Because you are not demonstrating such. <laughs> well, I just, I want to, I'm hoping Trish Morikawa and uh, Wesley Chun show up here. They should at least answer to what they were doing. I want to hear them lie to the public again. And then be arrested. Yeah. 
Communication has changed. <laughs> yeah, we do. But I don't know any other you streamers out there that's willing to sit here this long or anybody else hanging out here at HVD this long in a metal detector. <laughs> You can just unplug it, right? Because the plug's right there. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! What is that I see? Uh-uh. It can't be that. It is. Oh, hell. <laughs> HBD at its finest. Hello. If you're not busy, there's two criminals wandering around the island. Their names are Trish Morikawa and Wesley Chun. He had to look at our sign. Refuse and resist! Can you please arrest them? <laughs> okay, like, can you arrest them? No, I'm going to We'll go home as soon as you guys finish your job. We understand you had a job to do earlier. We're asking you to finish that job. I don't know what's so hard about it. I mean, I, if I walked into Mako's or, you know, or somewhere just stole a Twinkie, man, it'd be like all over me and trying to sentence me to like six months to a year in jail. <laughs> you know. So the moral of the story is as long as you're a cabinet level director, you can just do whatever the hell you want apparently. <laughs> well, uh, are we asking for them to turn themselves in? That would be an interesting uh, turn of events. I'm asking for them to at least show up and make it easier for HPD, but yeah, I guess in a sense, yeah, what do you want, Andy? What do you think? Should they turn themselves in since HPD doesn't want to just go running around and knocking on their office doors? Uh, I think they're too much of cowards to do the right thing. I think they're going to have to be hauled in and handcuffed. But yeah, if they want to make it easy on themselves, absolutely. They need to be... Uh, I think we'd go better with the courts if they turn themselves in. Yeah, they're, they're definitely too much of cowards to uh, turn themselves in. They've been able to get away with uh, theft, destruction of property for so long right. that any semblance of morality that they had. <laughs> really? Who was it? Alright. Well, let's find out. I'll be right back. Yeah. Find out who they are. Hello. You guys moving here now? Huh? Are you guys moving here? Or oh no, we we're at, we actually had tents and everything all set up there, and uh, but we're asking for Trish Morikawa and Wesley Chun to be arrested for uh, crimes. So, yeah, we'll stay here until they do their jobs.
Okay, so that was KITV. Got a film shot of us being here. sitting here watching and making sure everything stays calm the whole time. Same one that I was talking to earlier. He's a good guy though. He's never given us problems. Question. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to uh, skip that. I see, my brother answered a question, so I had to go back. How long have we lived here? I lived here since November 1st. <laughs> Believe it or not. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not sure what that has to do with uh, how I believe uh, the current state of Hawaii is in, but yeah, I've lived here since November 1st. Channel 2 is here. Channel 2 is here. Do you want to get in our staging places? back to that question. Yeah, I've done my homework and uh, I have an understanding and I have people that's uh, behind me that has uh, went out of their way to help me through with understanding and uh, support me and uh, I'm very appreciative. And uh, yeah, I don't see where anything makes anything legitimate of what's going on out here. asked an officer why the flags, all the flags, are at half-mast, and they couldn't give us an answer why. They were like, I don't know. I would think they would know more than anybody else, right? <laughs>
course. So we have a, a repeat of uh, Wesley Chun's number, 808-768-3343. So please call Wesley Chun at 808-768-3343 with a fax number of 808-768-3381. Again, that's 808-768-3381. These numbers is for Wesley Chun. Ask him to turn himself in as a criminal to HPD here on Baratania. Channel 2. I don't think Channel 2 is on our side. I don't think so either. Well, anywho, anyhow. Back to where we were at, uh, Merrifield Carlisle, 808-768-4141. Again, that's 808-768-4141. Call him up and uh, ask him to have his cabinet-level members turn themselves in for uh, criminal theft. Uh, oh, I guess uh, there was a temple shooting. Is why... Uh, the flags are half mass. And uh, we have another person saying, Go for it, guys. Do your thing and state the case against the sellers of Gabber's Prop Bill 54 sellout. Maybe the flags were lowered because something died, like their humanity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, interesting.
Do you understand why we're here? We're asking for the arrest of Wesley Chun and Trish Morikawa for their crimes of theft against the Occupy Honolulu and houseless of this island. They have pre knowledge that uh, items that was under Bill 54 was actually removed within the 24 hour process. They watched it, they knew where it was located at. Uh, Sergeant Santos submitted to this on camera that he had full knowledge that the activities that was going on there at Bar uh, Baratania and Ward was in fact illegal. And uh, we're asking that the city allows HPD to perform their duties to arrest both Trish Morikawa and Wesley Chun. That's why we're here. Yeah, I'm not sure what was going on with Channel 2 there. That was yeah, very interesting. But it, yeah, yeah, he definitely had a problem with us. He felt that we were infringing on something with him. But whatever. He ended up filming, filming us and uh, allowing me to have a small say in what we were actually doing here. So hopefully that makes uh, news and uh, people get to hear that Occupy Honolulu is asking for uh, Trish Morikawa and Wesley Chun to be arrested. Yeah, I think that should be something off of the Okay, hold on guys. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, you know, I'm sure he wasn't doing it on purpose. <laughs> no, come on! <laughs> it happens. I mean, it's cool. At least it was caught. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not, I think it was uh, KHON, it was uh, Channel 2 News, and uh, yeah, we've had run-ins with them at the camp. Fox News, right? Uh, I'm not sure exactly who runs KHON, but I know, uh, yeah, that that particular person we don't really have good luck with. He he seems to not like his job. I don't know. Peter Carlisle is a criminal too, big time. He calls these raids, but it's too cowardly to ever go there. Yes, that, that's very true. He uh, he uh, is very much a criminal. He uh, actually drove by one of the raids one time with his thumbs up in the air saying, Yeah, yeah! And that was on the last big raid that was completely illegal. And uh, so now, you know, We'll see how he answers to this when he finds out that his two cabinet level members are 
being asked to turn themselves in or be arrested, essentially. Either way, it doesn't matter. I want, I'm looking for justice. We're here to make sure that uh, the houses and the members of Occupy Honolulu are heard just as much as anybody with a million dollars or more in their pocket. They are unable to run around this island and act like thieves like this and not show accountability for it. They want to act like this, then they need to be arrested. They violated the law. That's all there is to it. I don't, I don't care what ordinance they want to work under. They violated the laws of that ordinance. They violated our rights and stole from us. Okay, something's going on with my Ustream. Am I on air? No? Yeah. I am or not? We're here. I'm going to take and reset this, guys. I'll be right back. I'm, I'm infringing on that time when they stop recording anyways, and I'm noticing that I'm not able to uh, intergage on my social stream. So before this cuts out, I want to make sure I can uh, stay tuned. So I'll be right back, guys.